Okay, well, we're in the middle of carving here and uh, got a little girl that was born early this morning and she's a little bit weak. I've had her standing up, but I want to get a bit of colostrum into her and uh, that should give her the boost that she needs to get her up and start drinking off mum. We'll have a crack at putting her on to mum a little later on, but we'll get her up now uh, and we'll give her the drink and we'll give her the colostrum. Okay, well, she looks like she's got a bit stronger. Uh, she's had a bit of a drink there. She's had some colostrum. So hopefully we can get her to a stage where she's getting up by herself and getting up under mum there. Well. Well, we've had a bit of success here. We've got her on the mum, having a drink. She's not real good at it, but if we can keep her going here, that'll be a big, big plus. Well, it's the best time of year. Potato planting time. Got a couple of bags of spuds up here, pink eyes. We are going bigger, but not as big as what I wanted. But we're just going to do a few bags a day um, and spread the planting out over a couple of weeks and that should give us a good spread of uh, time when we're digging them and when they mature. So we've got this bit of ground down here. Um, it's rained a fair bit over the last few days but this is not too bad. Neither is this bit over here. This is where I had some peas in but we got raided by kangaroos. So. Later on today, I'm bringing the um, disc harrows over. We'll run over it and use this for potatoes as well. So um, that's the plan anyway. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just make some furrows. We'll drop a bit of 8 4, 10 fertilizer in it, drop the potatoes in and then cover them up. And that shouldn't take too long to do. It shouldn't be much of an effort. Uh, that's what we're looking for this year. Not much of an effort for a good outcome. So you can see over here, We've had a few kangaroos raid the place. It's a telltale sign. Uh, so we're going to have to keep an eye on those and get them out of here before the potatoes come up. We did it last year, so hopefully we can do it again this year. Okay, we've got the furrows done there. Probably wasn't as crumbly as what I would have liked it, but We'll get by with it, it'll still work. Now we'll grab our fertilizer, our 8 4 10 fertilizer, and put that in the rows, then we'll drop some potatoes in. I'll tell you something, that wind is really piping up in the hills there. I think we're gonna get a pretty rough afternoon, so we'll get these in, and then it'll be done. Tell you something, you, you have a day when you want to do stuff, and the phone never stops making noises. Let's have a look. Okay, really, it was nothing, just a waste of time. Oh well, keep on messaging me. Okay, we'll whack some of this in the bucket. Okay, here's the best part. Let's open up our potatoes. I 
pink eye potatoes and uh, look at that they're just starting to shoot which is excellent I tend not to cut them I just plonk them straight in that's how easy it is uh, so that's all we're gonna do Well, there you go we've got the first day of planting done in the whole scheme of things we haven't done a real lot but at least we've got a few rows in and uh, soil's looking good the seeds looking good so hopefully the season's gonna look good and hopefully our crop will look good when it starts to grow so uh, it should take us I figure without any hold-ups with rain it should take us about seven days to get them all in uh, because we're only doing a certain amount a day um, but they do catch up over time over the over the season over springtime so it's not going to make a whole lot of difference well we've had a lot of rain here overnight we had about an inch and a half uh, or 30 five mils of rain uh, everything is pretty much underwater all the dams are full I'm just going to go over in the buggy and have a look at the potatoes and have a look at the dams and uh, see how we've gone with them make sure there's no damage hopefully the potatoes haven't got washed out it's just lucky that I didn't put any more in yesterday anyway let's go over and have a bit of a look We certainly have got a full dam over here now. We're not going to be short on water, that's for sure. Don't know if you can remember the people that have watched uh, a lot of the videos. That was nearly empty a few weeks ago. It certainly was a lot of rain overnight. And it's turned really cold now, so hopefully um, the cows hold off having uh, any more calves for the next couple of days. Let's have a look down here. No, the potatoes look fine. I don't think any of them have been washed out. So that's pretty good. Okay, let's keep trucking along. Let's see how much water has been deposited down here where our other potatoes hopefully fingers crossed we'll be going in next week but uh, with the weather that's been predicted I really don't know okay that's one area there that was going to be one of the first areas and I'll tell you what that's pretty damn wet got some water running down here uh, so obviously that's going to be very very wet as well I did try to put drains in but uh, geez with the rain that we had last night I defy any drain to cope with it So that's going to take a couple of weeks actually to dry out enough to get a tractor on there so we're going to be a couple of weeks behind here that's for sure but we have got a couple of other areas uh, on the other side of the tower here where I'll be able to get quite a few bags in so uh, we're just going to have to make do with those and hopefully the others then catch up in the next uh, few weeks of planting. 